Hi, my name is Liv Perry. I'm the Director of Product Management at Universal Audio. We're here at Winter NAMM 2014. We're showing off the new Apollo Twin, but we're also showing off Apollo. Of course, Apollo has been shipping for two years now, and we're very happy to announce that it is still the number one interface in its class. You know, the, the cornerstone of Apollo starts with its great sounding analog front end and back end. So amazing sounding A to D, D to A, amazing sounding mic preamps. So it's got four mic preamps built into the back with digitally controlled analog. Now one of the new technologies that we're showing at the show is Unison mic preamp technology. It's debuting in Apollo Twin, but it's also coming to Apollo and it will be a part of an, a, a, a software update and a firmware update that you'll be able to download very, very soon. So again, Apollo, four mic preamps. It's also got a total of eight line inputs, so you can actually use this thing to plug in keyboards, any line level device. Uh, on the output side, there's actually a lot more outputs. There's actually eight line outs, two dedicated monitor outputs with digitally controlled analog outputs. So again, when you turn down that gain, you're actually doing it in the analog domain. On the output side, we've got the two headphone outputs, and the two headphone outputs have individual analog gain on them. So again, you get two headphones going, as well as the monitor outputs. So, you know, just in general, you know, the whole front panel of the box is very beautifully uh, put together. It uses a beautiful extruded aluminum, very, very robust knobs, uh, and again, great for either using in the studio or taking on the road because you've got enough inputs to actually record, uh, you know, many simultaneous inputs. Uh, also on the back, you know, the box actually connects via Firewire, uh, but it's got a Thunderbolt option card, and right now during, Q during Q1, We've got a promotion that if you buy an Apollo, you get a Thunderbolt option card for free. That's actually $500 extra that we're including with every Apollo that, uh, you, that you buy in Q1. The front panel, you know, very, very beautiful. It's got full control of the mic preamps. So if you look over here, we've got two DI inputs you can plug right in. The dedicated knob, however, can go between all four channels. And you do that by just pressing the knob. And you can see these numbers cycle around. And you can go control anything. And so you can see I've got gain on channel three but then I hit the knob and you can see there's nothing there. So again, I can go through and fully control the gain of each preamp as well as engage the full featured mic preamp. So mic line switching, high pass filter, 48 volt fan and power, pad, polarity inversion and stereo linking for one and two and three and four. Full resolution metering here for all of the inputs, res uh, stereo metering for the outputs and again, the dedicated monitor output. You can also push this knob and you can see it turns red and that indicates that the output is muted. So again, great for if you're tracking in the same room where your studio monitors are, you just hit that button and then you adjust your headphone gain so you can track really, really quickly. So that's a, a tour of the front panel. Again, I described most of the back panel. Taking a look at the software, you know, what the software is really well known for is just having a really easy to use, you know, virtual console environment. Sorry about that. So the, the console actually is Apollo. It represents all of the inputs and all of the DSP. And so, you know, you can load up any of these classic EQs, like here's my, one of my favorite EQs. This is the Neve 1073. Maybe you want to track through a classic tape machine. This is the Studer A800, an incredible sounding emulation of the actual tape machine. And so much so that you can actually flip it open and start tweaking and, you know, over biasing, under biasing, and actually setting it up like you would a real tape deck. Of course, it's got golden settings where if you, uh, if you go through and change the tape type, it sort of changes these little tweakers just so that it's you know calibrated correctly, so you don't have to be a tape expert to use it. Uh, but that's a good example of you know what you can do. You can actually plug in your guitar, your microphone, bring up these plugins, and there's no latency. And there's no latency because it's all happening inside the box. You know, whenever you're plugging into most interfaces and going through your DAW and putting plugins in the DAW and trying to record with them, you notice that delay. And that delay is because it takes way too long to go through and back out to the interface. Because we've got plugins and this great mixer inside the interface, it never goes to the host computer. You never incur that latency. It's just like plugging into a real mixing console with a rack of the best outboard gear ever made. So that's really the promise of Apollo, and that's what it delivers. And now we've got you know a lot of great new features that we're showing at the show. The first is Unison mic preamp technology. Check out the Apollo Twin video that I just did uh, for that. The other thing that's coming to Apollo very soon is brand new Thunderbolt PCIe audio drivers. It's been a big request from our customer base, and it's absolutely coming to Apollo for free uh, very soon. So again, uh, we're very happy to announce all of these new things, and definitely there's more information about Apollo and the entire family of Apollo interfaces on our website, uaudio.com. Thank you very much.